Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Welcome back to Diecast Reviews. So I'll be doing a review on three Tomica Next Gens that have not yet been released by Mattel. You have Jim Reverick, JP Drive, and Jonas Carvers. Now, if you guys don't know, Tomica is a Japanese car manufacturer company. They make cars like, or like hello, uh, like realistic cars, I guess. You can see the Toyota FJ Cruiser police car. They make things like that. And they've recently ventured back into the United States with only at Walmart pieces. You can see like Nissan Note. You know, you, you won't find this stuff in a Hot Wheels section, a Nissan Note. They make fantasy cars, is what he's, uh, Hot Wheels does. And Matchbox, uh, they have a lot of construction stuff in there. Suzuki Jimny, you know, very nice color, but this is a realistic color. This looks, I think I've seen one of these before as well. And you can see, obviously, they are made in Japan, designed in Japan. And they're really nice, actually, uh, package here. For if anyone wants to keep them in the package, they can. It looks pretty cool. Um, so you can kind of see a little bit of back history on Tomika there. And, uh, yeah, so they're a Japanese car company, and they've recently come back to the United States. They were here in, like, 2011, I think, then left, but they've come back to the United States, which is really cool. I do like that. And that does open up the possibility that they could release Disney cars in the United States, which would be a huge kind of blow to Mattel. Not a huge blow, but, you know, Mattel will finally have some competition. Sure, they have competition with the Disney store, but the Disney store is really limited in what they make, and... Their quality control isn't the best, and they have huge cars. Like, their scale is huge. Sure, these are smaller than Mattel cars, but people collect Hot Wheels, and they, they're the same scale as Hot Wheels, or obviously other Tomica cars. So, yeah, if they do come to the United States, it could be a bit of a competitor to Mattel, maybe force Mattel into making more diecasts, because, you know, these th these three cars Mattel has not made yet, and I'm not even sure if they'll make JP Drive. Uh, Jonas Carver's is scheduled to come out. Jim Revick is not yet. So, yeah. Hopefully Mattel makes these. And, um, yeah. Hopefully Tomika does start bringing their Disney cars to the United States. Because they do make some really cool ones. Like, they made uh, Flipped Over. They, I think, also made, like, a Rusty's Rap. Like, a uh, Mater who appeared at the end of the car of the movie. Like, in the end card scene. They made him, which was pretty cool. And they made some others. Like Fire Luigi or something. I don't know. They made some really cool different cars. So hopefully they do come to the United States and offer them. And I mean, sure, it could be only Walmart exclusive. I don't care. And you know, maybe if they go to Canada, they can offer them in like Target or whatever. I don't even know what's in Canada. I'm sorry. Actually, I think Toys R Us is still in Canada, right? So they can offer them at Toys R Us. And then I think Tomica's actually sold in Europe. I've, I think I've been there and they've actually sold them in Europe. So, um, but yeah, Tomica. Mostly retails in Japan and China, Vietnam, I think, uh, South Korea, I think in like those parts of Russia that are really close to Japan, countries like that. I wonder if they sell them in North Korea. That'd be an interesting question. I don't, I don't know. Do they? <laughs> All right, anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, let's get these guys out of the package. Uh, let's go one by one. Let's start off with, let's start off with Jonas Carvers here. You can see Jonas Carvers. You can see a diecast picture of him, Takara Tomi, aka Tomika. Probably says cars right there. Probably says Jonas Carvers. Uh, I don't know what C40 is. Uh, probably the number 40 is. See another picture of Jonas. Like, I don't know what all this stuff says. If you do, please let me know. Although probably just some legal stuff. I don't know. This is obviously legal stuff. See, they're made in Vietnam, which is kind of interesting. Uh, nice Mickey Mouse and a nice like, dog. I don't even know why. Why is there a dog on there? I say I'm Mickey Mouse, but... I'm assuming that means you can't eat them. I don't know. It's probably like legal stuff. Anyway, let's get Jonas here out of the package. I've actually gotten this one out before to look at him. I'm going to put him back in there because I want to do a video. Anyways, here is Jonas out of the package. He comes a little bad because obviously he's not in like a blister thing. You know, he is. He's looking awesome, actually. Let's put him on the turntable. What is this? Oh, this is not very interesting. I don't even know what... Okay, see, I can't read that, so I don't know what it is. Maybe it's actually kind of interesting. Probably some, like, promotion or something. I don't know. Here is Jonas. He is obviously the no-star race uh, next gen in Cars 3. And that is actually kind of like a matte finish. That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, let's get right into the review of Jonas here. He's got this, like, checkerboard pattern, which has been kind of prominent on the no-star 
Cars, I actually kind of want to wait for a Todd Marcus Cars 3 version, but in Cars 1, I should have brought the Cars 1 version, I'll bring it over. Um, yeah, obviously the checkered board pattern, kind of the design on No Stall. And it's a very modernized font for No Stall there, it looks pretty cool. Nice expression, I like that they do change their expressions, you know, Mattel kind of keeps the same expression for every body type like this body type has this expression basically for all of them this body type has this expression for basically all of them so it's nice that they do change them tomika does on the side you can see the contingency sponsors of piston cup combustor carbon cyber and synergy another checkered board pattern going along here and the 123 again with the modernized font see the light year tires pretty cool nice detailing there by tomika No star 123, obviously rookie stripes because Jonas is a rookie. Then you have no star on the spoiler uh, with another, like, looks like a checkered board pattern there as well. Yeah, black in this brownish color. And this side looks to be the same. Maybe the checkered board, like, designs are placed. They actually, no, they look about the same. But uh, yeah, Jonas is very, very nice. I do like him, although probably my least, one of my least favorite next gens, just because I'm not a fan of the shade of the red. It's all dark red for me. Like I like this red. See, like Todd Marcus has this really light, light red. I love that, but <clears throat> um, this dark red just just isn't for me. But you know, maybe some people do like the shade of red. Now let's give Jonas a ride on the turntable. Again, I'm recording during the day, so I love the light lighting because usually I record during the night because I was have school in the day. But now that I'm winter, I'm on winter break, I can record during the day for you, and the video looks a hundred times better. But I opened up a couple pictures of where Jonas appeared in the movie right there. Um, you know, probably just racing along. Actually, might have been one of the least shown. I don't really remember him in the movie. But again, all these next gens just quickly, really quickly, uh, skimmed through in the racing scenes so there you go there was some pictures of where jonas appeared in the movie actually he's got some suspension oh that's cool he's got like some suspension like you know mattel cars don't have that but wow tomika has some suspension on him. that's really cool um also you can see on the base they have like they put the name of the car see jonas carvers Spoilers, like, anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so they put the name on the base, which is very nice because you know, Mattel doesn't do that. You know, it's, if you do forget the name of the car by any means, you can just look at the base. So, I wish Mattel would start doing that. Another plus to Tamika, anyways, let's compare Jonas here to other No Stall racers. Now, No Stall is obviously a brand that in Cars Universe has been, has been with us forever. Obviously, I think No Stall, Todd Marcus, the No Stall racer in Cars Universe was one of the first. Um, Piston Cup Racers to be released. But uh, there you go. You can kind of see the progression of the No Stall. Of course, these two were Todd Marcus. Todd Marcus overwent a bit of a body change <laughs> uh, from Cars 1 to Cars 3. I got redesigned a little bit, but then obviously Jonas came in and took over his job. Probably the, probably the first No Stall Racer since, I don't know, when did Todd start racing? 2003, maybe? Jonas, the first no, different No Stall Racer since then. Um, but you can kind of see where I'm talking about the checkered board pattern here on Todd. You can, he had like this uh, checkered board pattern, uh, finished flag, uh, checkered flag. There you go. I was stuck there a little bit. But you kind of see the checkered board pattern. It was all over Todd. So yeah, they kind of had that checkered board pattern. Then they kind of went away from it in the Cars Three version. I mean, I guess a little bit back here, but. I really do like this Car 3 version. I mean, you kind of see the checkerboard pattern in there as well. I really do like the Car 3 version. I like the turquoise and the blue and the red. I really love that they put that back, that they put that in there. But then, in the next gen version, they kind of went back to this. They had a lot of the checkerboard pattern visible. And the colors, I mean, they got rid of the turquoise and blue completely. And they more made it, they darkened the red, but they also kind of put some black in there. Which was completely gone. From Cars 3, Todd, Marcus. So, um, yeah, they kind of went back on themselves. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the font. They changed it there. And then this font was basically the same as that. 
But yeah, they did change it. And you can kind of see how Jonas is smaller than these guys because he is 164 scale. Uh, let me know which no star racer is your favorite. I'm going to have to go with Cars 3, Tad Marcus. Then probably Jonas, actually. Again, the suspension just, I don't know. These Tomiko cars are really cool. I do like them a lot. If they were 155 scale, you know, it would be perfect. Um, but yeah, uh, Todd, Jonas will be second, and then Todd, Cars 1, Todd, sorry, you're last. But yeah, there is Jonas. And now let's move on to Jim Reverick. Now, Jim Reverick is not like the other Tomiko cars, because let's zoom out here. He is an Aeon exclusive here. You can see Aeon, Aeon. Like this random thing on the back here. So for one of those things that like beeps if you don't like check it out or something. I don't know. Anyways, um he's an Aeon exclusive, which Aeon I think is like a target. I think it's like a Japanese target store. Actually, I don't know. But it's like a department store basically. So it's an exclusive to there, so you can only buy it in Aeon store. So obviously, uh off eBay it was a little more expensive than other ones because it is more limited. So, anyways though. Still pretty cool piece, and uh, yeah, let's get him out of the package here. So yeah, I don't know what Aeon exactly is. I think it's like a Target, but let me know if you guys do know what Aeon is. And Jim looks awesome. I love that color. So this poster thing is, I think, the same thing as the other. I don't know what it says. Here is Jim out of the package. You can see they have changed the expression if we give him to Jonas here. Technically the same model. So yeah, I do like that they changed. Actually, they didn't change the mouth, it looks like, but they did change the like the expression completely. You can kind of see how an eye shift really changes the expression. Jonas looks pretty relaxed here, but in this, Jim Revick looks really determined, even though the mouth looks exactly the same. So you can see how some eye changing the eye is just a tad really does change the expression a lot of course Jim here is sponsored by carbon cyber there are these uh, con same contingency sponsors Lightyear, and then you have carbon cyber kind of weird like it goes it gets gradually bigger so you go from carbon to cyber the letters get bigger and bigger kind of interesting there then you have 67 and like the stripe that gets more and more decimated as you go along, and then the stripe just kind of blends into this blue. Wow, that's a really cool design. Like, that's awesome. You can see it kind of covers the 67 there. On the back, you have that same, like, stripe design, although this time it goes from being decimated to being full again. 67, carbon cyber, and you can see it's kind of split down the middle here, with one side being this, like, teal color, almost like cyan or not cyan. But like t aqua almost it's aqua and then to this side it's green like i love that that is amazing spoiler is a little crooked though but that's okay yeah it's kind of crooked there you can see anyways um i love the way that it's split down the middle that design is amazing and you know the this this uh aqua color is like metallicalized look at that the green is also kind of metallic but man i love that good job tomika Carbon cyber there, obviously. This side looks to be the same. I don't know. It's a 67. It's in blue here. It's in blue here. Okay, yeah. So this side is the same. Looks awesome. I love this blue coloring on the side here. That looks awesome. Obviously, 67 on the roof with the roof flaps. Obviously, there you go. Car Jim Reverick. So made in Vietnam. Where's George Carlos? I think he was also, yeah, he's also made in Vietnam. Because the box said so, so might as well just, uh, not. Anyways, moving on. Also, you have some, like, blue outlining on the hood there. And that kind of goes around the car. I love this blue color, man. I don't know if it shows up on the camera as well as it does in person, but, man, this blue is amazing. See, does he have suspension? He does have suspension. So I'm assuming it's a thing on all Tomika uh, models that they have suspension. Let's give Jim here a ride on the turn table. And I'll put some pictures of where he appeared in the movie right there. Obviously, a couple of times throughout the movie, he had to appear racing. Uh, obviously, he replaced Bobby Road Testa. So, there you go. There are some pictures of where Jim appeared in the movie. And now, it's compared to, obviously, the only other uh, carbon cyber racer that we have, Bobby Road Testa. 
who was the stock car in Cars 3 and then got fired to make room for Jim, obviously. Or maybe he retired, who knows? I don't think we ever got told. But you can see they kind of kept the design the same with the blue stripe here, the blue roof. So the side was all of it changed. And the back is not blue and green anymore. But overall, this design was similar, although you can kind of see that they did get rid of the uh, hexagons there, right? Those are six sides. I don't know. Not, what, what am I talking about? I don't know. Anyways, moving on. I do really like both of these, but Jim would be my favorite out of these two because, I don't know, I love the metallic on him. Do let me know which one you like prefer more out of these. And, um, yeah, that will be all for Jim. Let's move on to probably everyone's favorite, JP Drive, the Apple Racer in Cars 3, the Apple Next Gen. Man, have we not gotten an Apple car? I mean, Disney Store made a JP Drive, but Mattel made an Apple Racer from Cars 1, but only put it in that uh, 36-car set that was or is really rare. It only made, like, a 1,000 of them. I think it goes for like five thousand dollars on, online now so if there even is one online i'm not even sure if there is but yeah uh, mattel made it super limited see there's a nice animated picture of jp drive mattel made it super limited probably due to licensing issues but tomica and disney store have gone around those licensing issues they've released an apple car and it's readily available like disney store you basically buy that JP Drive if you want. Go to Disney Store, buy it. Same with Tomica. It's not like it's one in 1,000 or whatever. You can buy this JP Drive just if you find them in a store. So, yeah. Apple Car, finally. Um, Not sure why Mattel does not want to release one. Maybe they have to get some licensing. I don't know. Like, it's obviously not a licensing matter now. Tomica, two companies have worked around that licensing issue. It's obviously not a licensing issue that Mattel is dealing with. It's something... Do they just not want to do an app? Do they not want to pay the bit of licensing fees you have to pay? I don't know what the deal is, but I kind of think we might get one now that two companies have released uh, Apple Next Gen. I do kind of think Mattel may release an Apple stock car from Car Street and an Apple Next Gen. They probably won't release a, one of those, you know, the Cars 1 Apple Racer because they can. That would just be terrible if they released one of those. People would like spent two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars to get that box set just to get that one car, and then if they release one, you know, for three ninety nine, you could go into a store. I mean, you know, I would I love to see that happen, sure, but at the same time, you know, I don't think they will. But I could definitely see them releasing JP Drive and the Cars Three unnamed stock uh stock car from that because they haven't made those rare. And, you know, I could see them releasing, and I do hope they really release the Cars 3 Apple Racers. I hope that happens. Anyways, uh, we all know and love Apple. I'm using an Apple phone to film this video, actually, but obviously the classic Apple logo. Again, a nice expression. They did change the mouth, but that's because I think it's a different model. And then he does have some different contingency sponsors, actually. You can see there's Octane Gain, Revolting, Clutch Aid, and Retread, which is weird because Re Retread didn't appear in Cars 3? Okay. Yeah, that's probably an error by Tomika. Let's see. Can we see on the diecast here or on the picture? No. We can't see on the animated picture what it was, but it's probably, this is probably incorrect because Retread didn't appear in Cars 3, so I don't know. Probably a mistake by Tomika. You have the classical 84, because I think 84 is when Apple sold their first computer. It was founded in 1976, I know that. So, probably when it was sold, they first sold their first computer. Maybe something else, I don't know, but definitely not when they were founded. Uh, you have some nice, like, random designs. I'm not sure what they signify, if they signify anything, but pretty cool designs on the Apple Next Gen. Obviously, JP Drive, there you go. You have some other Apple logo, 84, and some rookie stripes with more of those designs. Also, I have some of, I'm not, like, if you guys know what this, does this signify anything related to, like, computers, phones, whatever? Or is this just random stuff that uh, Disney books are decide to put on JP here? 
Obviously, you have the classic 84. Now, this probably, if you would compare it to, like, the Cars 1 version. Oh, this is really zoomed in. I just noticed. Sorry. If you would compare it to the Cars 1 version um, or the Cars 3 stock car, it would probably be the most similar out of any of them because Apple... You can't change Apple. Apple hasn't. It's a real company, and I don't think they really changed their logo much from 2006 to 2017 when the company, uh, when the car stream came out. So probably haven't changed their logo that much. They technically can't change their logo. So you know, just keep it classic. That's what Apple has has a classic logo. Not a lot of bright and shiny logos like this. Even though I really do like this design on Jim here, but um, yeah. Really do like the Apple Racer JP Drive. Finally, we have an Apple Racer from a company. And it's not, you don't have to pay $2,000 for it. How lovely. Um, So yeah, I do think we might see an Apple uh, Racers from Cars, from Mattel. Probably the Cars 3 ones. I, I guess I really doubt they release a Cars 1 Apple Racer. But yeah, hopefully we'll do see JP Drive and the unnamed uh, stock car and cars will be released by Mattel soon, but let's give JP here a ride on the turntable. Also, does anyone know what JP stands for? Like, whenever they release cars with like initials like that, I don't know what they stand for. Like, they have to stand for something, right? Uh, but yeah, here's where the Apple Racer appeared in the movie. I actually do believe he appeared, it was one of the better running racers. He, he was racing Jackson Storm a lot, I do believe. But um, there you go, you can see a couple pictures of where he appeared in the movie. And yeah, that shall about do it for this video. Now I do want, one thing I wanna do is kinda of show you the size comparison between Tomika and Mattel. You can see this is the same model as obviously H.J. Hollis. You can definitely see the size difference there. The 155, 164. And then if you go to like Sheldon Shifter here, and Jim Reverick and Jonas Carvers, you can only see the size comparison there as well. Oh, these look don't look as bad as HJ. You can definitely see the size difference here. These, I mean, they do look smaller, but don't look as bad or as small as these ones. But yeah, let me know out of these three, which one is your favorite? Now, I think most people will say JP Drive. Also, JP looks small compared to these ones, too. I don't know. Kind of weird. Uh, I think most people will say JP because he's an Apple racer. Like, now, I do like him as well, but Jim Rever, come on. You can't go wrong with, with these designs, can you? I really do like Jim. So, I have to probably actually go with Jim, then JP, then Jonas Carvers in that order. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Do let me know which one is your favorite. And, uh, yeah, would you like to see Tomika come to the United States well, I mean, they have, but, like, in their Cars version. Like, would you like to see the car Disney Cars from Tamika come to the United States? That would be awesome if they do. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas Eve. I'll let you go spend some time with your family now. This is a long video. Sorry about that. But three Next Gen's review. So, anyways, let's stop rambling now. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.